So today we're looking at an app called Schedugram. This is what I use to schedule for my different accounts and you can see the different accounts are displayed right here on the manage accounts portion of the site. We're going to go to activity log and schedule and today I am putting up posts for Idaho Explored. As I look down my schedule 6.30 tonight, Idaho Explored, and then I've got uh, one of my photos going out at 6.45, Washington at 7 p.m., California at 7.15, Oregon at 9.15. Tomorrow morning we have a whole 6.15 is ready to go, and 6.45 is ready to go. That 6.30 spot that doesn't exist is Idaho Explored, and so I'm going to go ahead and fill that slot as well as quite a few more with some posts that I've prepared. We use Upload Media, the bulk tool, and then I'll choose Idaho Explored, Upload Image or Video Files, and then I've got, I think, nine images here. I, I do use a reverse numbering system when I'm preparing posts so that the newest posts that are ready are always at the front of the folder. And this is going to upload that media and convert it. And then I'm going to go to the text files I've set up in Evernote. This first one is for irrigation pipe near Weezer. And then my second Evernote file is for cross country ski to Mesa Falls. And then my third file is City of Rocks National Reserve. And I am just copying these text files and pasting them into the caption section. Snow rollers. Bear Lake State Park. And I'm also, of course, taking a quick look at each photo to make sure I'm matching these. Sometimes a photo doesn't upload correctly, and so I'll end up with an extra text file. And it's really easy to get those out of sync, to have the wrong text with a particular photo. Mount Baldy view of Pioneer Mountains. We've got just one more to go here. For Mineral Reserve, just above Lake Coeur d'Alene. Okay, now I'm going to schedule these. These are all for tomorrow, or start tomorrow. At 6.30, I'm going to have to do this individually for each. So then for tomorrow for 6.30 p.m. And then February 2nd for 6.30 a.m. Schedulegram is going to send these out automatically through their server, which I've connected to my account. Let's see, and I just, because I was talking, forgot where I am. This is 6.30 p.m. on the 2nd. And then we're on February 3rd. Morning of, February 3rd. Evening of. Oops. I was still using my scroll bar while I was inside that text box. February 4. Evening, February 5. So this gets us a couple days ahead on Idaho Explored. We're now through 6.30 a.m. February 5th. And then uh, I'll go ahead and click Schedule. Activity Log, Schedule. And for the next day, so Sunday at 6.30, Sunday at 6.45, Sunday at 7. Sunday at 7.15, Sunday at 9.15, so the next day is Monday. I want to make sure that I have photos scheduled and properly tagged so that the person whose photo we're featuring gets a notification. Monday at 6.15 for Oregon Explored is set up. Uh, this photo from Idaho Explored is not tagged, so I'm going to grab the name of the photographer, click Edit Tags, click on the photo, copy and paste that in, click Done, 
click schedule and this is going to take me all the way back up to the beginning here we are 6.30 tomorrow morning 6.45 that's mine so no tag 7 7 15 11 15 4 15 6 30 no tag grab the name of the photographer again copy that edit tags click paste it in enter done schedule for posting and we were at 6 30 p.m on monday 6 45 that's mine 7 is tagged 7 15 is tagged 9.15. Monday is done. Uh, Schedulegram is just such a great app. Uh, it, it is a service that comes with price tag, but totally worth it as far as being able to batch your work and get posts ready to go out ahead of time. That's it for Idaho Explored.